How does a person get hit by lightning four times? What are the odds of this happening? Was he just extremely unlucky, or was it something more? In today's video, we'll talk about the unbelievable story of Walter Summerford. Lightning is one of the most frightening elements of nature. Lightning incidents occur throughout the year, but most occur during summer, with July being the deadliest month. Globally, about 2,000 people a year lose their lives from lightning, as about 90% of those affected, survive the strike. The chances of someone being struck by lightning are practically nil, if he finds shelter in time. If he is outdoors, then the chances of being hit are less than one in a million. This means that the chances of someone getting hit four times are almost impossible. And yet, that is exactly what happened to Walter Summerford. In 1918, Walter Summerford was serving as a major in the British Army in Belgium, during the First World War. One day, while horse riding in a field, he was struck by lightning. The blow left him temporarily paralyzed from the waist down, so the army relieved him of his duties. Summerford was sent to Vancouver, where he recuperated and started walking again. Six years later, in 1924, Summerford was fishing on the bank of a river, sitting under a tree. Suddenly, a storm broke out, and a bolt of lightning struck that particular tree, through which it passed to him. As a result, Summerford lost feeling in his right side. Once again, he underwent a new period of rehabilitation, in order to overcome the temporary paralysis. Summerford overcame this, and was able to not only walk, but also participate in activities, such as hiking, fishing, camping, etc. However, his luck would not change. In 1930, the former officer was struck by lightning for the third time, while walking in a park. This time, there was no recovery. The unfortunate man was left completely paralyzed from the head down, and permanently confined to a hospital bed. His doctors said they were amazed, that Summerford managed to survive after that. The odds of someone being struck by lightning three times, and surviving, are astronomical. However, they were unable to help him overcome this obstacle as well, as his recovery was impossible. Two years later, Summerford passed away, and was buried at the Mountain View Cemetery in Vancouver. However, he was not to rest there either. In 1936, his tombstone was struck by lightning, bringing the number of strikes to four. Most paradoxically of all, lightning struck Summerford with mathematical precision every six years. 1918, 1924, 1930, and 1936. For this reason, many argue that Summerford was the victim of a curse. After all, it cannot be logically explained, how something so rare can happen repeatedly to the same person. In any case, if we look at the data, we will see that men are four times more likely to be struck by lightning than women. In addition, the average age of those affected is 37 years. Finally, those who spend a lot of time outdoors, such as fields, lakes, mountains, etc., are significantly more vulnerable to lightning. It can be said, that Summerford met all the criteria. He was a young man, who spent most of his time outdoors. Regardless of his tragic end, Walter Summerford is an example of endurance, will and hope. Life literally sent him one blow after another, but he fought with all his strength to overcome them. His story reminds us, that we should never give up, even if everything seems against us.